What's up everyone? This is Alex from the Creative Product team. And in this video, I want to answer a lot of questions we have heard about which printer is right for you. This is a buyer's guide for two new printers, the Ender 3 V3 SE and its Clipper sibling, the Ender 3 V3 KE. Alright, let's start with what matters the most, cost. How much do I have to pay for what I'm getting here? The V3 SE's standard price is 199 USD. It's the absolute king of affordable new entry-level 3D printers. The V3 KE is $18 more at 279. So that's what we want to explore today. Are the features in the KE worth $18 to you? Let's start with the V3 SE because I said it was an entry-level machine customer tailored for hobbyists. A veteran in the 3D printing community would likely call it a foolproof option for newcomers. Easy setup, easy slicing software, easy printed with a single button touch, etc. Every expect happy for the beginners. But if you are looking for a higher print speeds, you are not good at waiting and want some more advanced features, then the V3 KE is going to be a choice for sure. The KE is also a good machine for beginners if you don't mind spending an extra $18 because it upgrades your experience and improves your productivity. The proof is in the printing. In terms of speed, stats are 250 mm per second at maximum and a regular speed at 180 for the V3 SE. This is a very fair speed and more than competitive given its very low price. Meanwhile, the V3 KE is a representative of a new generation high-speed printers and it brings things to a complete different level. Max speed is 500 mm per second and the regular speed is 300 mm per second. That's right, I said 500. It is easy to see that the regular print speed of the V3KE has surpassed the max speed of other mainstream 3D printers. As a new member, of the prestigious Ender 3 family. No doubt, the V3 SE can deliver decent printed results thanks to its rigid dual Z axis and Y axis using a pair of 8mm thick linear shafts. I also should mention that it comes with this bridge extruder, boasting market proven reliability of over 500,000 units shipped. On the other hand, the V3KE is equipped with the precise X-axis linear rail, which is normally the standard configuration for higher-end machines, further strengthened with smart algorithms including input shaping, which helps mitigate the printer's vibrations for minimal ringing or ghosting, and motion advance, which helps optimize the feeding flow for fewer blobs and others. It is fair to say that the printing capabilities of the V3KE are a step ahead of the V3 SE. Ender 3 V3 SE comes with a Noto calibration system, making annoying paper tasks the better leveling a history. On the other side, the V3 KE is highly automated. Besides the auto calibration system, both the line printing and cloud printing are supported. And again, smart algorithms help optimize printing results without the need for any expertise in tinkering with the machine. One tap and you'll get excellent models. The filament sensor is also included so that you don't have to worry about filament running out. 
the adaptable B3SE can print in PRA, PTG, and TPU, giving even the most ambitious beginner plenty of work to do. The robust KE is able to also add higher temperature filaments to its arsenal, including ABS and ASA. This will satisfy even those with industrial-grade curiosity. OK, let's recap those main points to help you make a final decision. We really hope that this guide has been helpful. See you guys next time. Happy printing.